Assalamu alaikum, this is Xenomics. Many people have asked me to make tutorials on After Effects. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not that experienced with it as much as I am with Photoshop. But nonetheless, I'll show you what I know. So, this should be an exciting tutorial. It's just going to show you how to make basic 3D text. So if I go here and press close, then go to composition, new composition, then I like to make it 1280 by 720, though you can use whatever resolution you like. Press OK. Then type my text by going here, then clicking in the middle. My text is going to be Xenomex as usual. Drag it to the center. If I want to be accurate, I just go to the title action safe, which will show me around where the center will be. Right? Now I'm going to go to effects and presets. Then I'm going to type shatter. Then I'm going to drag and drop this here. Then I'm going to go to view, rendered, shape, custom custom shutter is going to be the layer which I want to make 3D. Then I'm going to go to force, make the strength 0. Go to force 2, make the strength 0 as well. And finally go to physics, make the gravity 0 as well. Then I'm going to go up and then I'm going to make the extrusion depth just a bit thicker. I'm going to keep increasing it until I can see it on the screen. Now, that is simple. 3D text. The next question that you probably have come in is how do you make it like, you know, come in from the top of the screen in a different orientation where the camera's looking at it from an angle and all that? Okay, I'll try to make this as simple as possible, though, you know, it's going to take quite a lot of practice. So I'm going to go to camera positions on the shutter effect, then mess around with the rotation. So if I move this here, maybe like this and let's say I like it like that. Remember I've not put any effects there, the effects will be done by you. I'm just showing you how to make simple 3D text. So let's say for example I want the text to be coming in from the screen so it's gonna start off really large and then it's gonna go in the center and then it's gonna come out again. Okay? All this is done by setting a lot of keyframes. So the first keyframe I want is when it's very large, when it's covering the whole screen. So I'm going to go to the Z position here, and as I decrease it, it seems to be getting enlarged. Now I've, I've even gone to the minus where I can't see it at all. Then I'm going to press this stopwatch here. This will basically tell it to set this frame as being here. Then I'm going to move this bar here to about a second, let's say. I'm going to increase it again so I can see it. And now what this has done is it's basically told it from here to here. It'll come back to the screen. So if I just play it really quickly, you can see that was very simple. If we want to add more variety, what we want to do is open this up, open the effects, shatter camera positions just so we can see the keyframes. Put the current time indicator straight down on the keyframe and I would just try my luck with some positions so if I just set all these here because I like them the way they were then move here and now I'm gonna change them for example so I'm gonna make it end up looking like this so if I play it from here to here this is what we'll see Right, so now I want it to stay in the middle for a bit, then move out. But I don't want to make it seem boring. I don't want it just to stay stationary and still at the middle. So let's say I want to give it a nice rotation as it stays in the middle. So let's say for about two seconds, I want it to just slowly rotate. Just ever so slowly. Okay, and maybe change the rotation a bit, just, just so it seems like it's actually changing. And here, I've got to make sure that I've clicked on these settings so click here and click here for the positions and click here. Then I'm going to move to 4 seconds and I'm going to decrease the Z position and as I'm doing that I'm just going to change the orientation just to see what looks good really and now it's completely gone so let's see what it will look like
that was a very simple tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video and you've not subscribed, remember to subscribe. Also, if you've not seen my other videos, remember to check them out. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to leave a nice comment and rating. See you later.